All right, as promised, having finished the Trails of Cold Steel series, it's now time for us to dive into the music. I think both Michaela and I are pretty much video game music aficionados. Mm -hmm. And for all of the ups and downs Cold Steel had, mostly ups, some more downs by the end, the soundtrack's a pretty clear winner from start to finish. And there's a lot to dig into here. We're each going to present our top 25. We're going to do it in five song installments, Monday through Friday. And part of the reason we're breaking it up is because we're actually going to play the tracks listen to him for the most part, talk about him a little bit, and then a before and after, give some comments on him. She has elected to go first, so I'm going to be going into this blind. I don't know what's on her list. Mm, so she's yes. going to have to kind of tell me what the songs are, and I'll go find them real quick. I have all the soundtracks up. We're going to kind of listen to them, talk about why they're great, and see who has the best top 25. And at the end... It won't be me. <laughs> um, because I can combine them, I'll have her list. So before I give mine, I can put them together. We'll see what our overall ranking is uh, when we put them together. Yes, that's fun. I want to see where ours, like how ours contrast. Yeah. It should be interesting because I know you're going to have different picks than me. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a feeling you're going to have more from a certain game than I am. I know your number one is not going to be the same as mine. Uh -huh. And I know there's at least three or four songs on my list that definitely aren't on yours. Probably yeah. going to be more. Probably more. So I'm excited. What I did not do was put the Music Box song on my list. I thought it would be funny to put that at number 25 <laughs> just to watch a reaction. But there's so many good songs I didn't want to waste a joke uh, spot. That, I mean, that's fair. I mean, and you would have gotten a good reaction because I forgot that existed until you said something. Mm -hmm. so maybe I'll play it at the end of one of these videos just to fuck with you. I don't know. It's <laughs> yes? unclear. Yes, you will. <laughs> uh, so you'll be able to see which song is playing on the right and all that, which soundtrack it's from. I had to go dig up some album art because a couple of my soundtracks didn't have them. But uh, I think it ends up looking pretty solid overall oh yeah it's sexy over there Look at that high res shit high res i'm gonna baby. miss this reen by the way i don't like cold steel 3 reen compared yeah. to this one but that's I, just and me. i love his hair and and eyes in yeah. the fourth this it, was cool it was just such a good a good look a good arc great good times all right I anything you want to say about your overall list before we crack into the top 25 uh, um, not well. I mean, as I was working on my list, I started it like months ago when we first brought it up. Um, and over time, I've made some adjustments to it. I think it's a little more balanced now than it was before, but there's still some biases, which we'll get to. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine hey you know the nice thing about it is you can't really be wrong i mean some people might take issue with a certain song not being on the list but it's your list so yeah it's exactly i, I sort of did it as like my favorite songs so if i were making a list of the best songs it would be different than my best songs yes like if i was trying to be objective of like composition and orchestrals and blah 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 then i would have you know yeah it'd probably be even more balanced but since it was just purely my favorites um, well, it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> what do you see some of the biases in mine? Oh, boy. I can't wait. <laughs> all right. All number right. 25. My number 25 is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> I don't want a drum roll. It's fine. <laughs> I don't it's actually want a drum, drum roll. Maybe for number one, but not for 25. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, a Changing World from the Depths of Darkness. That's from Cold Steel 4. Um, it's like the opening two or whatever. You know how they have... Like the main opening, the anime opening with all the pretty animation. And then they have like the secondary one that it kind of introduces the the two sides, the two factions. Um, I sure hope I got the right name of the song. So there's for two you. different changing worlds. The one that's 102 on the soundtrack, I'm assuming, is the one you're talking about then. It's got From the Abyss in parentheses because the other one is Changing World. Uh, where did it go? This is so small to me. <laughs> Behind the history. I think it's the first one. Okay. Well, I can play it. And I don't... Like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's fair. I don't know why mine subtitle is from the depths of darkness, which doesn't match either of those. Ooh, it's I don't like, know. great. It could be Thanks just a the lot. different translations or something. YouTube. <laughs> all right. I meant to look at the track list and I forgot, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's just more work for me. It's always more work for me. <laughs> just like the bug. <laughs> Where? Okay. Well, we're not going to change the picture then. It's already going to be Reen, but here we go. Exactly. Yeah. We'll know soon if it's not correct. <laughs> Quiet piano opening. Mm -hmm.
saw his dad. Yep. Yeah, so I really like this track. I just remember hearing it the first time, and I was like, oh, I'm so pumped for what's going to happen. Three and four. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, dear. That's fine. Traffic cone. <laughs> uh, it's VLC. Spoiler alert. Uh, three and four both did an excellent job with those character trailer-esque intros, like the secondary intros that weren't the anime ones with the music. But yes. Both of those are so good. Both of them are timed out well. I will mm-hmm. at least give you this much on your list. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you whether or not it's on mine. Okay. Yes. Actually, I not like Not where. That. Not, oh, know. yeah. Uh, this one's not. Oh. It, so I accidentally had another 25 outside of my top 25 as I made my first cut and then went from there to make my top 25. Mm-hmm. It's not even on that. And it's not because oh, wow. it's bad. I actually don't know if I really thought about it. It wouldn't have made my top 25 regardless. Oh, for sure. Um, maybe it would have made that first cut. I kind of forgot what it was. When I first opened it, it had such that quiet start that I mm-hmm. was like, oh, yes, that one. I didn't really go all the way through it. But. Yep. I also like the... Like whatever that instrument thing, percussion, whatever that is in the background... Anytime music does that, it has like a beat I'm down for. So <laughs> It's subtle, but good. Yeah. Okay. 24. <clears throat> Number 24 is Doomsday Trance from Cold Steel 3. I think it plays towards the end-ish. <laughs> I'm looking. There it is. It hey. is towards the end. Yay. I predicted correctly. Hey. Yeah. Where it got serious. It sure did. <laughs> I remember us stabbing a monster a whole bunch with this music. That's what I remember. Sounds right. <laughs> For me. Yep. goes harder than most songs on the Cold Steel soundtrack And do. it sounds, it's an absolute banger on headphones. Um, yeah, we were hoping to do that, but between Michaela piercing her ears or some nonsense and some <laughs> other technical difficulties. It sure did. <laughs> I can't even feed our audio through our headphones well enough anymore, so uh, yeah. we were doing it without headphones, but 
Mm-hmm. I have a couple of thoughts similar on my list where I'm like, man, there was this was like a track I heard live and then listened to on headphones. I was like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Happens. Yeah. So I, I like this track because it's kind of got more like the EDM. That might not be the right term for it, but like the yeah, electro I mean, sound. Anytime, yeah, anytime and, you have like a driving bass beat like that, it's sort of EDM-esque. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of songs people will probably start to notice on my list. I like to listen to stuff that I can put on in the background. So a lot of it's kind of like the faster like battle themes. I don't have a lot of the slow stuff. Typically, I like stuff that I can just put on the background if I'm like trying to write or work or something like that. So... And that's a good one for that. It also makes me like want to run on a treadmill and <laughs> go fast and as hard as I can. Right, so. like Sonic. Like Sonic, yes, of course. See, when I need to focus, I go to slow stuff. So like, mm. there's that 10 hour version of behind the uh, beneath the mask from Persona Five. Mm-hmm. So I need stuff that's not super active most of the time. Sometimes if I need to pick me up, I will go to mm-hmm. stuff that's got more drive. I think I I and every once in a while I do do a slower one like b- beneath the mask or a good town theme or something like that but yeah normally i do like the battle action themes or just something with like an interesting beat in the background or melody mm-hmm. or something well and like you mentioned the workout sort of that's definitely something people go to as well mm-hmm. all righty that's 24 it's all not right. on my list oh yeah look so at that our two. lists are already so different we're gonna have overlap towards the top I'm oh I, sure. pff, yeah a thousand percent my biases will also really start to come to fruition up there okay so 23 number 23 is to the future from cold steel 4 i believe it's towards the bottom yeah i think it's one of the last ones there I it is i think so uh-huh uh Real quick, I meant to do this at the start and I fucked up. Just uh-huh. as a reminder, we talked about this in the playthrough, which I'm sure most of you who are watching this video watched. Mm-hmm. These are all songs from the soundtrack. So if it was from another Trails game and it appeared in Cold Steel, we're not including it for these purposes. It's so like Unfathomed Force, which would probably be top five for me in the whole series, is not on my list because it's not a Cold Steel song. Yep, same thing with like Geofront or um, what's the... Mystic Core, Final which is a choice. Crossbell song on 4. Mm-hmm. Almost made my list, but it's on the soundtrack. The Enforcers song. Is that the same thing or is that a different song? Uh, I think Enforcers is on the soundtrack. So there's like a Cold Steel specific version of it because it's on my list. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> Pretty sure. I can't pull mine up Damn without it. showing you the whole thing. But uh, I think well, that's no, the case. it's fair. I, I, cause I got confused. I was trying to find that one and they had it on like a super range, but like for Sky or something. And I was like, does that count? I don't know. So I, I just ignored it. But oh, basically, well. the point is like if it's got a song, if it's listed on the official soundtrack, it's eligible for these. And we included Super. Yes. Um, but if it was in another Trails game and then showed up here, well, at some point, whenever we play. The Crossbell games probably do a whole series one in 2026. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is just Cold Steel. I meant to make that note in the beginning, so in case people were wondering. But. Yeah. So this is 319 mm. to the future. Mm-hmm.
So I don't know if the crossbow games follow this mold, but given Sky and Cold Steel, I would expect them to also nail their final dungeon themes. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not on my list. It was on my backup 25. Oh. I have a feeling other people might rank this more highly, but the truth is there's just so many good songs in this series that it's tough to really narrow it down. It's true. Um, yeah, I mean, what else do I even have to say about this track? This is, again, in the fight with everybody, right? Like the true ending uh, fight. Is that also used there? I don't yes. remember much about the I end of that remember. stream, but I think I, that's I true. I think it was. I think. I think. Um, and it, it was funny because, like, so CS4, I one of the early songs really caught my attention. It's like, I'm so excited for the music. And then, really, most of the soundtrack just kind of flew under my radar. Same. And, <laughs> and, then, and then tracks like that that hit toward the end. I was like, oh, okay, here we go. We're getting some good stuff now. But for whatever reason, a lot of it. I just like don't remember. So. People did kind of warn us about that in the comments too, or maybe not warn us, but talk about how well you know maybe this isn't so stellar overall, but get to the ending. And there are four or five standout tracks from here. Mm-hmm. For sure. Twenty-two. Number twenty-two is "Unknown Threat" from Cold Steel One. I believe it plays towards the end. This song, I believe, plays uh, with the fight with um, Scarlet. And then it plays again throughout two with the magic armor, um, dudes, dude bros, whatever. <laughs> dude bros, I like that. Dude bros. <laughs> it's four minutes? Why is it four minutes? God, I didn't think it was that long. It's got a longer build than you probably remember. Okay. But a good one. Yes, it is good. I always forget about. Right? I kind of forgot about it too. I was like, ooh.
essentially reached the loop point, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, now we reached the loop, finally. <laughs> a few of these songs I remember have kind of like... They don't loop. They only play the ones, but some of them go a little bit back into the first part again. Yes, and now we're, we're doing that here, too. And it'll, it'll phase here in about seven seconds. talk over this part. We already yeah, heard it. Yeah, we, we've heard the whole thing now. We're over four, which is exciting to me. <laughs> you know what I'm here for? I, I don't want our list to be super similar no, from the get-go. That'd be weird. That's and boring. Heard the same songs twice a bunch. Exactly. And we're going to do it at least and ten we're gonna, times. It's going to happen eventually. But so. I was worried it was going to be 15 plus, and I don't think we're headed that way. I don't it's think we could. are either. I mean, it's possible to, like the rest of my songs are all the same. Yeah, but 15 to 21 is <laughs> a possibility, but when you're over four, you extrapolate yeah. that out. Yep. And I just, I love the, the crescendo in this song. Me, me and crescendos. I love a good crescendo. And the, there's just so much going on in this track, too, and it, I mean, it sounds, as its name suggests, like an unknown threat. And there's just a lot of weird stuff happening in the music, too, that reflects that. And it's great. And I love it. Never really overstays its welcome, and it plays at some pretty pivotal moments. So it's yes. a winner. Mm-hmm. 21, our final one for Monday's video. 21 is Wintry Arrival from Cold Steel That's from 2. two. It's number three. Ha-ha! Because it's on my list. Uh, sweet. We've done it. I use it as the intro music for half of that series. So I remember that. I don't that. think people would be surprised to learn that this is on my list. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh, I love this art. Yep. I saw the image move, but I think it was because I played a few of these as tests and it was like, hey, you want to resume where you left off? And I'm like, no VLC, stop. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I thought I saw that too and I was like, what? This one builds so like beautifully. It's so good. Ascending. Mm -hmm. My hands on camera. Yes. And then it sort of dips a little bit. Yeah. Not in quality, just in like it's like swelling and it's kind of like ah, we'll take kinda, a break yep. and like oh are we winding down and it hits you with the best part of the song and you're like oh shit. Yep. Well, now you have to do the majority of the talking on this one because I have to save my thoughts for later. That's true. So, okay. Since we've looped, I can start talking over sure. it again, I think. Um, I also... So, I really... Like, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to forget the beginning of 2. And this music is a large part of why. You're in the mountains. You don't know what's going on. And then it turns out you've been asleep for a month. And you're just like, what the hell? You're right there with Reen experiencing all the emotions and well in our case I, we jumped right in from one to two because i was gonna flip the table if we didn't so she was uh, <laughs> i think i was like are you kidding me i think there's actually some discussion at the end of one about i think we had something else planned yes and it was like nope 
<laughs> just um, flat no. I said, oh, okay. That's fine with me. I'm yeah. going to do something else, but okay. Sure. Yep. Yeah, no, that song is great. The crescendo is wonderful. And it's just like a really pretty song. It's well done. I yep. have thoughts, but I have to save them. You have to save them. All right. I'm not going to keep introducing each of these parts in between. We'll just kind of jump between them. But that's the end of today's video. Tomorrow, it's 20 to 16 as we keep working our way through her top five. And then next week, it'll be... Top 25. And then the next week, it'll be my top 25. Yeah. Or just five. Who knows? 